Hey, welcome to Mesa RC uh, Elite. Um, we've got uh, Ashton and Nick here. Nick, come on, Nick. And uh, Ashton, what did you guys bring to, to Elite today? Uh, as a gift over Christmas break, I got a Nano CPS by Horizon Hobby. And uh, I think it goes for around 100 bind and fly. I'm not sure, I think 125 ready to fly. And uh, it's it's a little, little heli that has the safe technology, so it does three modes. The uh, one mode is just where it flies uh, like a normal quad that you'd expect. And then the other two modes are where it uh, actually changes the pitches of the rotors, so you can do 3D and inverted and all that fun stuff. So I had, I knew Nick was a really good 3D heli pilot, so I decided to give him uh, a few weeks with it and see what he could do. So how, how'd it go? Well, I had the previous Nano CPX, so it was the X version. It had just the AS3X, so it's this one's so much more stable, it's actually kind of fun. The other one I had was like, it was trying to fly like a, a grasshopper on cocaine. <laughs> um, and, but this one has the safe technology, and when you're in safe mode, it's a lot easier to fly. It's, it yeah. re-centers itself. But you can't really flip it that way. And I've had I've been trying to program it on my DX8, and I've had issues with the mixing settings. I'm not extremely knowledgeable on that, so I'm probably I'm kind of lost with the uh, how to get the 3D mode to work. But I'm sure once you can do that, once you get that working, it'd be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I guess we're um, you know we'll show some fly, uh, flight footage of what it's doing right and then what it's doing wrong. Um, and maybe any of you guys out there that have the Nano CPS that um, you've got some sort of knowledge around in terms of how to control. And you say you have an eight. Yes. Uh, DX uh, anywhere between us, we have sixes and eights. Um, so if you have something um, set up on your guys' controller that works with this and you can actually do the inverted, we would love to know. The fly because they're so small. These? Yeah, they're very. Uh, So it's just standard right now. Yeah, it's on safe mode, so every time I let go of middle stick, it goes back. Oh, okay. It kind of needs trim. So. You combine this with any controller? Yes. I think it, you just need a DX4, I believe. Well, I tried it with my 5, and it didn't really work very well. So. There's so much technology in the little board, it's hard to get it to work first try. What's the flight time? Uh, it's supposed to be like four minutes. Oh, okay. It depends on if you're flying, if you're doing 3D. And if 3D won't work? Um, it's supposed to, but I'm having issues with it because of the remote. Just programming. That'd be really cool to see that small thing. It's fun too because it's the blades are spinning so slow that you're able to blade straight really easy. Inverted, so. It's still pretty agile though, compared to all the other ones. And the blades are still... I'm dead. <laughs> I went to disarm it like a quad. <laughs> it still tries to... Uh, the blades spin up and sp uh, spin down as you're changing your throttle. Mm -hmm. So like a quad almost. But a uh, normal one, like the way you're flying it in stunt mode or uh, like any other helicopter works, the blades spin at a consistent speed and the, the blade pitch just changes, which makes like the up and down a lot easier because the motor doesn't have to change RPMs as much. Hmm. 
If anyone knows what's going on with the blade, what's it called? The blade what? Nano CPS. Nano CPS. Um, leave a comment below and say, you know, ask what's going on with why is it not able to put itself into 3D mode. Because, I mean, I guess it's cool, Ashton, that you can just chuck around with it, but... you recommend it? Uh, so far, I think, yeah, if you, if you can pick one up that works easily, I'd totally recommend it. It's uh, really not too pricey for a full all-around starter quad, or not a quad. Well, I mean, can you phone all our little ones that we've had before, the, all the little blades? Right? That we've had the blade. Yeah, the quads that we've picked up before. Yeah, the little guys um, with the rotor in the back, it's, this thing seems to fly a lot lot better than the other ones. So, I mean, you're definitely you know, spending like 60 more dollars. But I think the safe technology makes a big difference. Yeah, and you're getting a better quad, or a better uh, Healy. So, no, man, we want to get this thing working. So, yeah, shoot a comment below, get it working, uh, so we can get this thing working and, and um, see what it actually does with the inverted, because this little guy inverted, that would be crazy landed on the roof ceiling. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. We need your help. So um, help us out, leave a comment below, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Cool.